Welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online. Well, today we're going to be showing you the different views that you can use within the PowerPoint software. Before we get into that, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to also activate that notification button. That way, then you will get notifications when we release our videos every week. Now, let's get into it. There are a couple of different views within PowerPoint itself. So currently on my screen, you can see I've got just a normal slide. I've got my ribbons at the top. I've got other bits and everything else. And that's the main view. That's the view you're always gonna have when you open PowerPoint, unless you've changed your default. There are two ways to access these views. The first way which we're gonna be looking at is on the ribbon itself. Click on the view tab. And when that loads, you're going to see you've got a list of presentation views and different views on the left hand side. So I'm not going into master views today. Master views is something slightly different, they're not sort of views and how you're working, stuff like that. They're more so about creating teams, templates, and stuff like that. And we'll spend much more time concentrating on them later on in life. But for now, I just want to show you the view, presentation views as they are. And the first one, like I said, is the normal one. It shows you your notes it shows you your slide and it shows you your slide bar on the left with this view you can then change it you can make the slide big smaller but you can have your notes bigger you could bring your slide bar in and out depending on what you like now me i prefer to work full screen until i need to write my notes or write my notes afterwards and then press notes button and then i'll then use the slide as a reference but I have a larger notes section so i can then see what i'm writing as well other views include the outline view, and the outline view allows you to see the outline of your presentation. So on my presentations, I've only got slides or images. So if I click on a new slide, and then if I put in here a, just change the layout to include. So if I just go to layout, change the layout, so it's got a title and a text box in it. Here's one go. So if I type hello, and then if I put in here bullet point one, this is a test. Uh, bullet point two, welcome to my world. So you can see in the outline view on the left hand side, and again, you can move it in and out depending on what you need. But you can see here that on the second slide, I've got my title and that's appears as a title. You've then got your bullet points. And then that's, this is the test, welcome to my world. And you can then edit them in here. So welcome to our world. So I can work, I can write it out from here. This type of view is very linear. It is text driven. It is mainly text driven. You can't insert images from this side. You can insert them into, this, into the slide over here. No issues, no worries about that whatsoever. But it's not designed for images, the outline view on the left-hand side. So some people will create outlines within, say, a Word document, like, like Word. They will then copy and paste that into the outline view, and then they've got their slide decks. Now, again, like I said, these are all very heavy Word-based, which I'm not a massive fan of, as you do know. Uh, so that is really up to you if you want to use this one i prefer working with images and graphics and large text so but you know everybody's different now the next view i want to show you is the slide sorter so this is really handy when you want to move slides or see what type of slides you've got within your slide deck so you can see here i've got two sections i've got my default section and i've then got the trans uh, another section called transparent image from a recent video uh, if I click on that, it'll then hide it. Again, that will hide that one. I can move slides around the place. So again, you can change the order and layout of how you're going to deliver, so how you're going to arrange your, your slide deck. You've then also got the notes page, which shows you your slide, and it also shows you your notes below. So you see, for instance, I've got no notes in this section, so if I could just type something in here, this is a test. And then if I go back to normal, back to the slide I'm just on, I can see I've got a note in there, this is a test, even though it's spelled wrong. So this is a test, and that then, I can see that. If I then go up to the first slide, I've got my main, my first slide with my logo. I've also then got some filler text in there as well. And then finally, the last view, which I wanna show you today, is the reading view. Click on that, and in essence, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see the slide 
large slide. Now you can't do any editing in here or nothing like that. It is just for you to run through your presentation and then you can, so you can press the arrow buttons, the mouse buttons to go back and forward as you usually would when you're doing a presentation. Again, press escape to get out of that. So guys, there are the five views that you've got access to within PowerPoint. Like I said, we're not gonna to be touching the massive views today, but we will touch on them in a later date. You've also got down the bottom right hand corner, if you've got these two bar on view, you can quickly access these views no matter what tab you're on. So for instance, if I'm on the home tab, I'm doing my work, I click on the normal view, and I get my normal view. Slide sorter, and also I've got my reading view. So there, there, that's the second way of accessing the different views. I prefer working in the normal view. So what I want you guys to do is to let me know what type of view you like working in. Okay, so that's the end of our video today. Hopefully you found this helpful and explained some. Thank you for joining us today. If you liked this video or found it useful in any way, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. You can do that either below or in the corner here. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, why not check out our next video? You can also visit powerpointtraining.online to find more information, including a full step-by-step -step guide with images. There is a link in the description below. Till next time, folks, goodbye.